Brazil. <laughs> brr, brr, brr. Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all the Sims games for the GBA. The Sims Bustin' Out is like a Sims RPG, meaning that this time you control only one Sim and not an entire household. You get to Sim Valley for a summer vacation, and from here, it's up to you what you want to do with your virtual life. You can free roam around Sim Valley, get a significant other, get a job, decorate your house. As jobs you can become a waiter, do some rocket work or get into the lawn mowing business. The game is fantastic. It doesn't fully follow the original concept, but the new take fits the franchise really well. I recommend the game. It manages to appeal to two categories of gamers, Sims fans and RPG fans. It's a fantastic game, just try it out. Sims in the City, the Herbs, takes on a similar approach as Busting Out, and after responding to questions you get into a click. From here you start with this minigame, get fired, and from there it's up to you what you want to do with your life. You get to play many fun minigames, and overall it's a fun game that again appeals to both RPG lovers and Sims fans. The Sims 2 has again the same premise as the other ones. It's an RPG, where you create your sim and control your virtual life. The game starts with you being an actor, and Daddy Big Box is producing a new reality show, and he'll need your help to make things interesting. To do that, you'll be carrying out various plot simulations, where Big Box will set up a scenario and you'll have to fulfill objectives to make the story go your way. You can even buy plot twists with in-game currency. You can be like Kaiba and his money. You can change the game with money, in-game money, not microtransactions. As for the gameplay, it's similar to the other ones. You go around town, talk to people, get jobs, play minigames. It's a really awesome game. And the plot is interesting too in this game. The Sims 2 Pets is pretty boring, because you get far less story, the city is much smaller, and you get too much grinding to do. You get a pet, and by the end of the game you become the best pet trainer in the world. But even if the plot sounds like Pokemon, it's not fun. The game is boring. Also the wiki article was funny. It says that as a feature, as new features, comparing it to The Sims 2 I guess, you get a new logo, which is now green. And that you get pets in a game that has pets in the title and on the cover. From the bunch, from the Sims games bunch, the Sims pets was boring. But all the other games are fantastic. Each one has a story and you can control how you reach the ending of the story. They are RPG games where you get usual Sims elements like customizations and character interactions. The games are great. They do have a lot of grinding, it's true, but that's how Sims games are, I mean, you, you get to do a lot of grinding in the Sims games. But other than that, the games are amazing, and you should definitely try them out. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.